Welcome to the Alexander campaign for Dwidiat Impera 1.2.5. In the last part, we came up and took Odessa, which means we now control the whole of Freik. We finished our first mission objective. And at the moment, it's looking pretty good, nice and stable. But we still got a little bit more work to do here because before I can come out here and well, effectively kick the hornet's nest and trigger all the death stacks, we need to get some artillery into Alexander's army. I need to strengthen this army a little bit as well, just to make sure. Because if we're going to go out through here, we're going to—it's going to be a fairly tough battle. You can see they're recruiting troops here, which is not helping matters very much as well. And I've brought this agent round, so this agent is going to keep an eye on this area here. Maybe we're pushed down a little bit this way. Then I've got my other agent out here. Uh, just keeping and just checking up on opening this area up so but it looks very much like Lydia has a very big area here yeah they wow they're going to be quite a big yeah I mean I wonder if they got here now in some ways this works both for and against me because if they've got this number of territories they're still limited on how many armies they can have and of course it means that we won't get the, the one settlement two army death stacks because we've got this whole area here but what it does mean they got one two three potentially four armies so we're gonna have to try and grind them down now before i get into any serious gameplay i just want to draw your attention to the actual date because it says autumn december and it's only taken me just over 20 odd turns to realize that we are playing uh, 12 turns per year instead of the normal standard four turns per year in the campaign and I think that's going to be quite interesting because it means that the actual family tree here is going to age a lot more slower than the normal campaign so we may need to think a little bit more about that let's just have a quick look see we're right here I think we can send you on a mission for Stani um, I think you can go to the actually you can go to the door side I think and then that gets you up to here that gives me minus one empire maintenance I'll put my income up a little bit now what I need to do is get at least two artillery in this army because if we're going to come in here and attack this settlement and take out these armies we're going to need artillery we're also going to need this army to be big enough to support this army and more importantly to uh, resupply lost troops so what we're going to need to do is recruit in this area and probably up in the Odessa try and not recruit in this region so that when we the actual population in this region so should will stay high enough to allow me to um, replenish should we actually end up in some trouble here and I'm also a little bit worried about food we're down to one food and I've got two ports on the on the go but it's gonna be nine turns before they actually come into force we may have a little bit of a problem but there's not much I can do about it so we'll just have to see how it goes to make sure my agents are there um, we can't build anything we're just gonna wait two turns for that so I think we're just gonna go straight for an end turn we're probably gonna burn through a few turns here okay. political entry consequences your dip diplomats returned by a company by master horseman your cavalry recruits will be better trained okay we'll take that got some increase in ranks we got uh, mysteries of uh, Lusias public order that could be useful this is going to get more and more under control got so we've got two food now we've got a war horse here we've got negative but that's due probably due to this winter conditions and let's see what we can get from the war horse perspective my inclination is to go money because we're not going to be trading Master horse trainer, that's probably not going to be worth the effort. I think we're going to go with a little bit of cash there. So, got 7,000. Just, just see if we've got anything better that I can 
put in here. Oh, that's haha. <laughs> Not the same one. What we got here? That's 300. That's 880. That actually gives us lead. I'm not sure if I actually need lead for anything just at the moment. That's going to give me silver 300. And Larissa's going to give me 310 war horses. I think at the moment we'll, we'll go with that and just keep that going. I'm not going to recruit any new troops just at the moment. Ah, because I could recruit. I don't really have the food though, that's the problem. No. Fine. Reach slingers. I think I might just get just serve? one of those in here. Because this is inside of Palace, which is a separate province. Maybe we'll just want to trickle in a couple of units here. What's my agents? Now that other army that was being recruited moved off again. I'm a little bit worried where he is. What I want is this other agent. Where are you? How can I be you came up through here. I think what we're going to do is bring you around this way. I just want to see the extent of... Right. to rest a while. So this area is actually owned by the Persians. This looks like this is the extent of Lydia's terrain. I think I'll send the agent up round through here just to open up what's going on there. And you can't do anything else. Just going to go for an end turn. Oh, some unassigned skills. We're certainly going to take those. Wealth and Empire. Yeah, maybe it's time to start working on that. And anything here, agricultural construction. And maybe we need to open up that. Ready for battle. And enter. Anything that gives me campaign movement range. Income from raiding parties, not to be that. Unlocks demoralized army, reduces morale of all units in the enemy army. That could, be. that could be useful. Rally slaves. General repair and return. Actually we'll go with that. I'm just gonna go for an end turn. Okay, increase in rank Alexandros. Right, we've now got a workshop. Actually, one thing I do need to check is the politics. Politics is good. We've now got a workshop. What I'm going to do is bring this army back into here. Um, Two thousand eight hundred baht. That's going to be very expensive. Two sets of artillery. We're still in winter. Come fight with us. So we're just going to recruit that artillery. And that's going to take all my cash for this turn. I think going through winter with 12 turns is quite interesting. And that's also going to have implications for when we get over to this area of the map down here. Oops, we get to about here. Now there's quite a lot of desert here. And if we've got to go three turns getting through the desert attrition, that could be interesting. I'm just going to send the, our agent How up through here. As you just to keep opening up this area. No further orders. Okay. Um, Household expands, character troops recruited. Yes. Authority. Actually, I think I'm just going to pull Commander, Alexander back this way a tiny bit. 
want him too far away from these armies, but at the same time, well, he's going to do it. Unassigned skills, Alexandros. My tiny little navy down here. He's certainly going to become a knight commander. Well, a general. Never ever been too sure whether that actually also applies to admirals. Actually, that could be useful because just this is plus eight percent campaign movement range. Yeah, I think we're we'll good with that. Right, we've got Alexander here. Find us up, keep cutting, grab enable second wind group. Um, I think that would make a difference because this is an expensive elite army. And I certainly want the charge bonus for the cav. Right, we've now completed research, legal documentation, increase in rank, noble woman. Wow. That's just interesting. The gods have oh, this is my. Certainly going to give you that. Cultural conversion. I think we're gonna get you to unlock this destruction costs for all local armies. I think we'll just go with that. But we've now finished the Agora here, and I don't know. I think we're gonna have to go with that. Get some more food. I'm very much worried about the food situation. Ready for battle. What we're gonna do is just. Do I risk bringing Alexander down here? Yeah, I think we're... Bring Alexander here. Right. I think we're going to bring the Sarissa Cav back. Because this is going to be more of a siege assault army. with, And I think with uh, Alexander and two heavy Cav... And this, of course, this army will also be in very close support. We're certainly not going to be. We're just going to bring Alexander back this way. And can we need to think about what we need to recruit here? Um, I think we can bring in one of those. And we've got no more money. So we just completed legal documentation. That increases the loyalty to all political parties. What do I get for a tier 3 hot white back in the barracks? Nothing. So, there's not really much point in following that tech tree. Not interested in tactics and drills. We've got this. I think we need to focus on wealth and agriculture, neighbors and for kill. Irrigation ditches. We got this minus two empire maintenance, six wealth from plus six percent wealth from cultural regions. Ah, I think I want you want that actually to get the growth going. This here. Right, we've got household expands. Um, Unseasonal conditions. Probably experience unusual seasonal conditions. So we're now in spring, which means we've got, say, about eight turns to actually doing something. Wow, these guys have got. These are out a long way as well. These are two really big uh, factions here. Wow. Of course, the moment I declare war. See, is anybody at war with anybody else? No. About Persia. Come on, Persia's got to be at war with somebody. No, no you're not Persia. You're Persia there. So I was half hoping that these would go to war with somebody, but. Like over this way and go this way or something like that. Because they control Egypt, isn't it? Lydia. Bactrian. 
So they looks like they, they actually go all the way to the border. Egyptus, Armenia. So you, looking at that, okay, let's just go to the other map. So what was going to be so effectively the whole of the, the there, and they're implying that they're out here. So effectively, what we've got to do is carve our way through the Persian Empire. Ha <laughs> ha! That's going to be fun. Right. Commander. Let's bring On the move. Get you in the position, March. strike position of this. Right here, let's have a quick look. Uh, shield bearers, some cav. Uh, the Aegean Axemen are going to be no joke. Persian skirmishers, one set of there. Five archers. Mm. Okay. We may, may need some throwaway troops here. Just to kind of go in and effectively take the. Uh, what we're just going to need is some throwaway troops to go in and effectively just suck up all the damage. Oh, well, where's Paltas? Got some Axemen here. Oh, let's just do the. See what I can build. You know, five turns. Do five turns. I can't really build anything anyway. They're five nine. There's seven of them. They're six ten. You're more expensive. Shield bearers. There's seven eight. Or some light hoplites that could be counted on to. Greek infantry. They're light on armor. Kind of inclined to. I'll let about four units of those. And what we can do is send these in, in front. Act as a. Some kind of. Uh, yeah, we can send in the light hoplites to, to kind of reach the wall so we can protect our, our main force. So we can do this turn. So we've got unassigned skills. got here that's plus one that gives me another plus one growth mm -hmm. I think you can just keep pushing up the income this is this war is going to be expensive right. well, we got this quartermaster's report nothing else this is an army of 12 So eleven six. These got these have got higher morale and better armor. We'll just pump in some of these and some more of these. We've got here. And these have got better armor as well. Actually, let's cancel that. Bring this army up to strength. It's my other agent. Oh, you, Mister. Come through here. Your job is going to be to scout this area. I'm just a bit worried about where all these armies have gone to. Swift and silent, a shadow among shadows. I'm wondering whether they're actually planning an invasion. Because all these are I mean all the armies have been pulled away. But where are they? So it's gonna go another enter. Right, completed tax labour. So which one's this one? This is tax labour. That's given us a bit more growth. And growth. I think we're 
going to go this way. That gives us a subterranean aqueduct stadia. I think we're going to go with water sluicing. Because that's going to give me even more growth. I, I need the growth. Because how many more turns have we got? Because yeah, we're not really growing fast enough in these areas. One more turn, three more turns there. I just want to know where all these armies have gone. How may I say? I wonder if they're up this the way. Again. Who are you? That's Armenia. In your service, I never tire. Let me just have a look here. We got one ally of these people here. Let's cancel that. Let's go to diplomacy. Right, so this is the normal northern limit and the Kartulu are actually at war with the Bosphoran Kingdom. Just to finish this army off, we're gonna. I don't want any. What I want is some slingers. What we're gonna do is bring in. And. Thracian Palsats. So we can get one more unit in here. And I think we're gonna get one more of those. That gives me two full size armies mount this attack this is going to be there effectively the, the cannon fodder army i'm just going to go for a, another end turn We can right. agree here. Non aggression. Right, construction reports. Right, the food is dropping again, but we're not far off now getting that. All I want to do is just send this agent up to here. No aid, no army there. Over here. Two armies belong into this faction. How can I be of assistance? You just come up through here. There is no one I can come round like that. Right. Bring this army up to here. Let's move. Alexander forward. Have a quick check diplomatically. And go for the end turn. So we have a child born, um, Hipparanus. Uh, faction rises. God knows where they are. Oh, they're a long way away. So this is where we kick the hornet's nest. Have a quick look. <clears throat> right, let's, let's declare war. I was very much hoping that we could join somebody's war against the Persian Empire and pick on Lydia by itself, but we're not going to be able to do it. We are not known as patient people. Therefore, welcome. We're not going to call Speak our allies in because they're going to be a waste of time. So, let's see how we go. War, step. then. <laughs> I do not welcome it. But they we will joined. not flinch from sending you're every joined. one of you to Hades. Yeah, you're joined by the Archimedean Empire. In other words, everybody is now at war with us. Great. Ready for orders. 
get you in. And we're just going to have to. So here we go. This could be the start of a very short campaign. <laughs> I've got absolutely no idea how this is going to go and it says we've got the edge and I suppose if we go with the auto resolve we're, we're going to fight it anyway and see oh great this is not going to be an easy city to get into certainly don't want to fight in the fog I want to appreciate this battle We've got a war here we got a little bit of gap there we got buildings behind there which means we can't do we got buildings behind here got buildings behind here I don't think these count as buildings and the victory point is there so it looks like we're just gonna have and we've got buildings outside here so it looks like we're gonna have to go in through this corner and uh, mm. and I suppose this would be impassable terrain as well yeah this is this is gonna be quite a tough battle actually maybe I should have gone for the auto resolve and, and I think we're gonna have to put the field art What we're going to have to do is try and smash our way through this corner here. And so we won't get through here. So and there's no point trying to go up that wall. Where if we put, I mean, I could put get ladders up here to take this second. That means the ladders are going to have to go through. They come this way. They're going to come under attack from there. So what we'll do is we'll put the ladders there. They might be, they might be able to just get up round and get up onto this wall here. It'll be very messy. And we're going to have the bronze shield pikes there. My Allies are coming in from there, or my second army. Battle ready and okay, eager. I have these here. Let's have a quick check. I can, still can't remember which ones. These are slingers. These are Greek archers. These are slingers. Yep, so. I think we're gonna have the slingers down here. What you want me to do is keep these archers here ready for any navy coming ashore. Okay, let's get going. Um, your job is gonna be to smash through that wall there. Our reinforcements have arrived. Yep. You team up with Alexander over here. Bring this army forward. I think what we're going to do is move these up to here. Bring this army, whole army, in here. Well, the artillery is doing quite a lot of damage, if nothing else. I think the only option we're going to have here is to get them to concentrate their forces into this area. Oops. The walls are breached. Thank you. Take them. You 
focus far on there. This would be a fairly strong bastion. Get these in. Here's going to be my sacrificial assault troops. Gee, no, we can bring you in about there. And what I do really want is these slingers. Which can then form up here. The archers. Yeah, we flatten the tents. This is the correct place to be. Yeah. Found our way in. Just want a nice big gap here. Actually, I think you're not firing. Okay, you you just wait back a little bit first. Um, we're going to need some troops to support these. So you can come up here. The walls are breached. Right. Next bit. We just keep knocking these guys down. We can get in and capture that tower. Right, we'll bring these forward. You in. Maybe staying put, so that's not a problem. Get a nice big gap here. Um, the walls are breached. One is you to pound this side of the, the gates now. Get the bronze shields going in first, and then you're going to come up second. Missile infantry ready. Missile infantry. Over this way, even more. I want you literally firing up into. We await your command. You start really pounding the walls and towers. Where's the archers gone? Where's my two archer units? Rations coming up behind. Right, we're pulling their forces. Forces, where are you lot? tower you form a line there right, Thracians bring up some more of these forces Sarissa cavalry you just keep out of it you're a waste of time 
but their, cap their navy is coming round here. job is going to be to hold the line one of our units has used all its ammunition right At your service. you your job is to force this Light hoplites in. Your job is going to be to. You. Your job is to hold that. Right. You've got them distracted. Your job is to come up here. We have captured a tower. We have captured the gates. Right, we got the gates. Archers forward. Double time, ready and waiting. Wrong shield pikes. We'll kill them all. Now, now comes the hard part. We've got to start hacking. Where's these light? Light hoplites. in I know this was meant to be my sacrificial army but these need support you push through was I need some inspirations up here inspirations through archers you into there. One shield pikes. We await your command. Ready for battle. Right, we gotta break there. Where's their navy? Control, but ah. slingers come up and some men are wavering. Well, that's to be understood there. They're Thracians. Sadian cavalry in. Start to put pressure on these. Right. 
I need, I need. Get the generals back. You, you lot in comp. I mean, this is militia, so. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Thracian warriors. These guys are crumbling. Salians through. You up this way on shields. Axemen. The battle is turning in our favor. Right. Just the generals. Hey, generals in. I'm going to need your support. Salians. You get under there. Hey, you get rid of those. Hey, you pull back. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Okay, you take that tower out. You in there, get rid of that tower. Thracians. Wait, just get in there and oh, pull back. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Attack their position. By your command. Let's get this sorted out. You withdraw. You push that way. Right. Axeman in. Let's bring up the Thracians. Right, that tower is neutralized. Well, it's not going to be much of a charge through here, but it might be enough to break these guys. No. Slingers out. <laughs> right, we've neutralized this here where's my where was those units I sent up in support like did I hook those by accident oh uh, great we have captured a tower you come off the tower and come behind um, Alexander up here Men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Yeah, right. Let's start trying to save some of these damaged units. Uh, you withdraw. Oh, who the heck is this idiot? Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Right, getting through this unit is going to be key. 
Um, what's my surname? You, you get through here. One of our units has used all its ammunition. We can get round behind them. Oops. Wow, this is gonna. Men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Cavalry! Light up the day! General! Second general, get there. You up here. Heavy horse, we need the rear charge. Improved second wind, rally, war cry. And it's not going to be much of a charge because it's going to come in in a city, but. Hey. You round here. You come down here. Ah, these guys are actually winning. And these are actually getting a... Actually... Actually, no. Salians withdraw. You go in melee. Withdraw. Um. Get into those. Right, these guys are breaking. Oh, wow, that took a lot more than I thought was going to happen. And I've really wrecked my front line. That is crazy. And of course, we're going to occupy. It's just the this army actually did quite uh, survive quite well, so ah. we hunger for battle. Um, Ready for battle. This army's gonna need to fall back because we lost a complete That's unit there. And what we're gonna do is bring Make you men. forward. Ready for further orders. Actually. Commander. Ah. Um, we're certainly going to convert that. We keep that. We'll knock that down. What's this? What will this convert to? Nothing. So we'll knock that down. And I think just to finish this video, what I want to do is panic. <laughs> Apologies. Uh, no. Let me just get this here. Get this agent. I think we're going to need you to come back this way. I need to know what's coming in in the way of reinforcements. And minus seven food, so we're going to have to untax this. That's going to give me three food. So, and what I'm going to do is go one turn because what I want to do is put this army into here. And we're going to pull Alexander back in order to refurbish. So back to about here. We're just going to go for one quick end turn. So that I don't forget. Okay, hero. Um, 
mean, this is not a brilliant army, but it's going to have to do. I mean, it will be defending, so. Gonna pull our Alexander back. Mm. You're going to stand in here. Just merge you lot up. And just get rid of you. And what we'll probably have to do is pull in mercenaries. Mercenary spearmen, mercenary paltas. Let me actually recruit anything here. Okay. Not enough manpower available. Okay, we're just gonna have to look, try and look intimidating. There's no other, other way we can do this. Right, we've got a construction report. We've now got food. Mm, Alexander's gonna. I think what we're gonna have to do is just rebuild this army the best we can. I'd like to keep. I don't see it's just. Recruit. Yep. Yeah. So I'm going to merge you two together and recruit you. What did we lose? We lost one. Oh, we didn't. We've got our. What here? Greek slingers, Greek archers. Personally, I don't think you're going to do it, so. What I'm going to do is get some Greek slingers in off. I want the range for this army. And I don't, I mean, these guys were very effective. But for the moment, I'm just going to recruit you. And what's it going to do? You're going to get the campaign movement range. And this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. I think from now on, life is going to get a little bit tough. Uh, but before we move forward, what we're going to have to do is consolidate here and hold it. And because the rest of this province is actually up. Oops. We, so, well, we certainly need to. How's the culture here? 29%. Yep. Yeah. So we're going to have to pump the culture. And we're going to have to get a master field in here as well the problem with this pr province is it goes all the way along the coast here so this is going to have to be a single province what we're going to be doing is pushing out into Lydia so we got here yeah, Rhodes is independent and Sardis so what we'll be looking for is to take this corner next round here but probably a good Good point. I'm not sure if I want to push out here. Maybe what we we'll need to do is push out against Pergamon. So that we've got two major capitals here. We've got control of these straits. But that's all going to be for the future. So until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.